on Mark eyebrows. Oh no, I guess. It's gonna, uh, you can't even see it really. And she said, you gotta go like layers and layers. The good thing about acrylic, you can go, you can go relatively fast. So, I literally decided to put the camera on. I only was going like five minutes and was like, yeah. So what I was gonna do is just get my templates to where when you draw enough of them, you can draw real fast. And then none of them have to be perfect, perfect, perfect. But they gotta resemble. It resembles. And then now it's worth my time. I can smash them out. Doesn't cost me that much money for a canvas like that. No. Um, I would suggest um, using this as like a therapy I really would I think it's a huge part of my life that I decided to remove and uh, I don't even think I mean I mean I feel like somebody else based my memory to program me to do something else that sounds crazy but how do you how do you how do you go from being into magazine being in magazines a young boy and the only attention you ever got that you know, stop painting makes sense somebody told me that some big kid did that wouldn't make sense but I tell you when I was 16 and I walked into the first time I walked into a gym oh I, I was like I'm gonna do a bodybuilder and I was so little it's like 103 pounds 14 years old or 15 years old Probably why I didn't get any taller. All my siblings are taller than me. Even my little brother, he is one inch taller than me. And I'm like, damn. I think it's because we were on steroids or whatever. I went to all the mouse. Right, we got a little weight here. Let's bring these cheeks a little whiter. guy was incredible really was I, uh, I'm <laughs> that my dad is unbelievable my my dad and my brother rocked him but I was on my way to be better than them won't take long this is all therapy anyway funny though know, because I was doing the, the geometry very young I mean but when you really feel it in nature it's like whoa it's it's it's, it's like learning how to ride your bike or just knowing the appropriate times to do certain things which you in a whole nother state of mind boss level I guess you can say So I just keep making my pictures, so you know, I just build my craft. That I should have never stopped, but it's simple for me because it's therapeutic. I go set up a spot, go to road show. I don't have to work that hard. I will not have to overstress myself. Never like I did. I don't have to worry about sales like I used to. I can. It sells itself. If anything I want to be better, just keep 
you, you could just keep learning from different masters. You just learn different styles. My style is a little unusual. But it always comes out good. I just, I free ball it. Just go with it. I mean, if my colors don't look right, I pull them to where they will. Like, this is what I'm using from. I don't like the colors like that. It's funny. National Geographic, the last few pictures I did was an Einstein, a girl that was on National Geographic, Al Pacino from The Godfather, and, um, and that was it uh, from National Geographic. But the, the little girl from, the, from National Geographic was from, I don't know what part of the world, incredible blue eyes. She had the face covering, so it must have been some kind of Muslim country that were, they didn't show their face. But her eyes were just, they were, you knew that when you got older, you were going to ask where that girl was. And then recent, recently, I'm going to find the article, um, they show her all grown up. She's actually a little older than me. And um, she was, she had like four kids. But their country... Yeah, I couldn't imagine like almost it, it to me it looked like they would walk around barefoot all the time like how, how do you how do you walk around barefoot like that like yeah I'm sure you build tough te tough feet but it's not attractive right? not high, very poor they're just poor I can't really see anything else about it but, but she still looked beautiful and her eyes looked so amazing she looked like, if she lived in the States, she would have been a model, for sure. So I wanted to tell anybody that, especially if you guys, anybody who wants to start painting again, or, um, I have to hit the gym hard, There's, I gotta put it on, but, I wanna start painting, like, it's a beautiful time of year to do this, so going into the summer, be outside, and some of us aren't working as much as, like, I don't have as many hours. She's alright, I just got a um, student loan and a, and a scholarship, so uh, whatever. I, I just started manifesting things, I don't even know how universe uh, laws of attraction really worked, I just, just centered myself. And it was because I started painting, it was so wild. But when the butterfly started to uh, take my attention, that was it. That was when I, I guess they say that's like an omen. And the other day I, I decided I was going to look up what heaven backwards meant. And it meant butterfly. And I was like, wow, life's amazing. It's just so amazing. It's all about that attitude of gratitude of you, man. I've been getting kind of a, a wuss because I need to be hitting the gym a little harder. Be crying like a little, like, but happy cries, like, good cries, but I'm worried. I'm like, yo, like a girl. Sister paint starts painting again. I'm trying to get her paint this week. I know 